Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm Sophie, I'm from SIG class I would like to explain my analyzing as far as I understand about semantic and pragmatic There are two articles and two videos that I will analyze but for the first is the article about the second impeachment trial of Donald Trump will begin next month under an agreement reached between Senate Democrat and Republicans. I found something about type of meaning in the articles. Uh, the first is connotative meaning. For example, in this article, Donald Trump. Why I say uh, Donald Trump? Because when some people uh listens or hear the name of donald trump they will have a sight in their mind that he is a root president a selfish president or even evil and the second is i found a conceptual meaning actually every word for me according to my opinion every word has a conceptual meaning because it is depend on the dictionary and that is as has already concept and then the third i will say that there is a thematic meaning in this article because what as already discussed in these articles is continuous thus or it is continued or or it does focus on a donald trump not other topic And there is a reference and inference. In this article, I found some of reference, but I just write in this PPT, for example, versus Democrat accused the ex-president of instigating the deadly 6th January riot at the U.S. Capitol. The ex-president reversed to Donald Trump. And the second example, President Biden also appeared to suggest he would prefer a later trial, he told reporters. He here reversed to President Biden. And the next example, and Mr. Trump's terms ended on Wednesday and he left Washington, snubbing his successor Joe Biden's inaugurations. He reversed to Mr. Trump. And the last is, the Senate will conduct a trial of the impeachment of Donald Trump. It will be a full trial. It, it will be a fi- fair trial. So, it here refers to a trial. The next is inference. As my understanding, inference is, yeah, inference, kesimpulan. Uh, kesimpulan yang diambil oleh si pendengar. Apa yang mereka simpulkan dari sebuah perkat dari pernak perkataan penutur. So in this article, as long as my understanding, I said that Democrats accused the ex-president of instigating the deadly sectionary riot at the U.S. Capitol. So the inference here, Donald Trump instigated, instigated the riot that caused some people die. And the second example. The Senate will conduct a trial of the impeachment of Donald Trump. It will be a full trial. It will be a fair trial. The inference here is the trial will be conducted and will be performed fairly. And the next, Senator Roger Wicker, a Mississippi Republican, told CCN on Friday, the chance of getting a conviction are virtually nihil. So the inference here, Even though Donald Trump is tried, but the chance to get conviction is nothing. The second questions and the second articles. What I have to analyze is about Bernie Sanders' integrations memes are what this country needed. What I have to analyze is about the axis, entailments, and coherence and cohesions. At the first year is the axis. As you understand, Dexis, there is a personal Dexis, space Dexis, time Dexis. The example of personal Dexis here is I have to, I have to look. I pick up my phone immediately. 
The thing behind them was this unpretension, unpretentious. And the pronoun here is, I can't mention as personal like this. Why? Because it's the pronoun. Or someone who say something. Mm -mm. So it backs to the person. And then space takes his. With my understanding, space takes here means about explain about the place. Yeah, the place that uh, someone said or the article said. Nah. In this example, it's Bernie Sanders in a chair waiting in nail salon. So, in a chair and in nail salon means here space taxis. And the third is time taxis. This morning, I pick up my phone immediately. We have been dropped off for the past four years. So, this morning means about time taxis. Why? Yeah, because it is talk about time. And then for the past four years, yeah, it's the same. The and times. next is so it's just like add more time. Nah, as my opinion, entitlement is menunjukkan bahwa hubungan antara tuturan itu bersifat mutlak. So, for example, here in this article, uh, the author or the speaker said, "I couldn't wait to chuckle at the latest Bernie meme." So, um, the uh, what is that? The meme is here is Bernie Sanders in a chair waiting at the nail salon. So actually, without saying the example of that meme, it it, it has been understood by some people. And in this article, uh, as my analysis, there is a coherence and a cohesion, and this article is cohesive. Because each paragraph focuses on talking about Bernie Sanders' memes, but in the last paragraphs shows that 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 is not coherent. For, for example, in this article is oh, and in the case you are wondering, Bernie's jacket is sold out. So other, so other gloves. Bernie's jacket is sold out. So other gloves. It's nothing to do with Bernie's memes. Meskipun tidak mau ditulis di artikel tersebut, it's, it doesn't matter. And the next is analyzing about short movie of Doraemon. And there will be a cooperative principle inside of this movie and maxim violations and possible implications. The first is a maxim of quantity. As my understanding, maxim quantity itu adalah members- memberikan informasi yang tidak berbelit-belit. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, here it, uh, Novita say how about the guided to tour. So you know how in movies creepy old castle like this always have a monster and scary stuff up here. Stop acting so scared because now you'll freak me out too. Now the Raymond says, mm. so actually, the Raymond wants to what is that a show about the castle and uh, the old castle and Novita explain more. Even they have, uh, he has already known that. It, Castle Old is a creepy place. And the next is about Maxim of Quality. As my understanding, Maxim of Quality itu adalah uh, apa ya, mengha- Maxim ini mengharuskan setiap peserta penutur itu memberikan sumbangan informasi. Ya, informasi yang benar. Hmm, for example, di sini itu ada I know this place was haunted, but maybe it is just a burglar and not a ghost. Yeah, right. A burglar is much more comforting. It's just a suit of armor. It was always in the middle of the hallway. Right. So di sini berisi tentang information. And the next is about maxim of relevancy. Nah, maxim of relevancy ini mengharuskan setiap peserta Uh, percakapan itu memberikan kontribusi yang relevan 
dengan uh, masalah pembicaraannya. Nah di sini contohnya, hmm, Hello, can anybody hear me? I'm here. It's ready. Hang on. I'll get you out. Nah itu kan memberikan kontribusi uh, apa ya pembicaraan gitu. And then maxim of manner. What is maxim of manner? Uh, for me, maxim of manner ini itu penutur diharap uh, apa ya? Peserta pertuturan ini diharapkan untuk berbicara secara langsung, tidak kabur, ya, tidak tidak berlebih-lebihan lah, serta runtut gitu. Nah, for example. Let's go out of here. Let's go off me now. Back to haunting my castle. You may as well leave and don't even think about buying this castle. It's not for sale. That's the example of maxim of manner. The next is maxim violations. Maxim violations is here. Kalau bisa disebutnya itu adalah pelanggaran maxim. So what does it mean? Uh, as my understanding, maksim ini itu adalah kesalahpahaman yang terjadi antara penonton. For example, in this movie, uh, Nobita said, uh, Doraemon said, Are you ready for me? Of course not. Count to a thousand. So, Doraemon here really counted until a thousand. But actually, Nobita, it just was a joking. And the next analyzing is about analyzing debate. And I'm going to find about the politeness strategy, speech check, and its possible implicator. And now, there is the politeness strategy. And as we know, politeness strategy itu adalah strategi kesopanan. Nah, for example, in this debate, would you impose new lockdown for business in school and hotspot? The federal mandate to wear masks. You have the minute to respond without interruptions. Mm. So, would you impose new lockdown? No, it's, we can say there's politeness strategies because the way, mm, the way, uh, the moderator asks, yeah, it is a polite. And then the second is also I would like to go back. I think we need to move on. So it is invite someone to move on. So I I think we need to move on. So we can we can say polite strategies. And then the next is I respect your public service as well. No, uh, after he said something, so uh, directly said I respect your public service as well. So it can says about it can says that is a politeness strategies. And then I mean I'm sorry that's fine. So it called politeness strategy. And then the next is pants. Would you like to go first? Mm. So we can say that it's a politeness strategy too. And the next about speech act. Uh, as we know, in this debate, I find some of speech act. Let's talk about caring about the American people. So it called directive speech act, and Pence, would you like to go first? So there is locationary act. Pence, would you like to go first? And elocutionary act. The speaker wants Pence to deliver his opinion first. And then for the perlocutionary act, the hearer deliver his opinion at first. And the next is another speech act. The American people have a right to know about the health. And well being of their president, and will continue to do that. Uh, it can call about it can call assert assert assertive, and then I'm just extremely extremely grateful. So we can say that is expressive. And the next, I want to give Senator Harris a chance to respond to the same questions. So we can call it a directive. Thank you, Senator Harris. That we can call expressive. Actually, inside of this debate, there are a lot of speech act. But I just we just uh, give some of example of this speech act. So the next is about the implic the possible implicators in this debate. 
Zawazwina one plicator itu di dalamnya adalah pertuturan yang sesungguhnya yaitu penutur dan lawan tutur itu dapat melakukan komunikasi secara lancar nah, karena mereka ini memiliki kesamaan latar belakang atau pengetahuan tentang sesuatu yang eh, sama ya yang diper, yang dikatakannya itu eh, sama gitu Jadi di antara penutur dan lawan tutur itu terdapat semacam kontrak percakapan tidak tertulis bahwa apa yang ditu apa yang dituturkan yang dikatakan itu di debat ini tuh saling saling dimengerti. So for example in this debate is if you carry the separation of powers you need to reject the bid and Harris ticket come November the third re-elect President Donald Trump that's uh, one of the example and uh, thank you very much it's uh, only that what I can analyze in this semantic pragmatic of a vinyl accent Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh